Sounds great. All right, everyone, I'm here with Hayden. Uh, and there's something very special about this guitar. I don't know what it is yet. So would you mind tell, telling us about it? Um, well, unlike quite a few of the, the guitars that are here today, uh, it might look like it's a rosewood guitar. It isn't. It's a rosewood substitute. Uh, it looks it's, great. It's, it's all a man-made product using natural fibers from sustainable resources. So it's trying to overcome um, CITES regulations yeah. that have come in um, controlling um, export and import of rosewood. And it's called Rock Light. Um, this is a prototypes acoustic set. It's the first. Rock Light. Yeah, it's a UK company. Um, and he's uh, already does ebony substitute fingerboards. These have been available okay. for a while. This is a fingerboard as well. This is Rock Light Ibano, which is an ebony substitute. The bridge is Ibano. Okay. Um, the new product is the Rock Light Sundari, which is the rosewood substitute, which was launched this year. Which is this and that, right? It is, yes. Um, we've had the fingerboards were launched. That's an Indian, oh, wow. Indian ebony substitute. Um, it's got a really nice grain to it as well. well it's, it's made from natural woods. Um, wow. All, all from sustainable Looks sources. Great. It, it behaves like wood, and it's, but it's more stable. Okay. It's more predictable because of the way it's been engineered. All right. Um, so it has a benefit that way. If I were to ask you about the differences in sound between um, the actual traditional woods you normally use for, a, for an acoustic guitar and like the rock light, how, how does that work? The fingerboards are very similar to ebony. Okay. Um, in the way they respond. The, this is the first rock light Sundari acoustic set, so it's a, a, a prototype set. A very, very new thing then. It's a new thing. This is the first guitar built with it. It's a little softer sounding than a, yeah. you'd expect from a rosewood. Um, doesn't have quite the bottom end, but it sounds more like a mahogany. Um, okay. And it, but it, it works well. It's, it's a sweet sound. Definitely sounds great. Yeah, it's, uh, it's worked well. There's nothing about how this was made that would be any different to how I'd approach so you, a normal uh, guitar build. During the, the process of making the guitar, you treat the, uh, the material just like wood? Just basically. like wood. I think when you're trying to market a new product like this to guitar makers, you they don't want to have to develop new processes mm -hmm. for a new material. They want to be able to treat it just like they've been right. treating woods for a long time. So it all looks and sounds more familiar as well. Yeah, yeah. It, the, the look is very convincing. You can't fault the look. I mean, that. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Look, looks say, like yeah, it looks really nice. It right. feels great as well. Now, you guys don't only do acoustics, do you? No, I do electrics as well. Um, I've been doing it for 25 years now this year. Um, I've always done electrics so I, and I've always done a few acoustics. Uh, and this is one of them. So we have got something really special here, everyone. Uh, looks like a gold top, actually. Do you want to tell us a bit more about it? It's kind of, kind of done for shows, really. Um, but it, it's a traditional build. It's a Spanish cedar body with a maple cap that you'd normally expect on a Mm -hmm. So it's got a ma maple cap as well. Maple yeah. cap, which is you can see on the binding on the edge, that's just the, the edge of the cap. Um, it looks textured. Yeah, okay. But when you touch it, it's, it's smooth because yeah. it's because of the line. It looks beautiful. Um, so it's 20, 24, 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold leaf. Yep. Amazing. Um, and it's uh, kind of my take on a more, a more traditional guitar. It's a little bit thinner than you'd expect from the big name, which keeps the weight down. It has a belly carve yeah. for a bit more comfort. It does feel very comfortable, yeah. Um, the scale length is 25 inch rather than uh, 25 and a half or 24 and three quarters okay. you'd maybe get. Um, and I use carbon fibre in the necks as well, All right, which okay. helps with the stability. Two-way truss rod um, and a good access, fully, fully tenoned neck joint, giving you access all the way to the, uh, the dusty end, if you like. Mm -hmm. Wicked, really cool. It's got a reassuring weight to it as well, so it feels very solid. Yeah, most of those that I do uh, are around about the seven pounds mark. I think this one's 7.2, if I remember rightly. So it's great. It feels like you've got a guitar around your neck, but it's not yeah. going to wear you it's out. Break your back. Like, uh, yeah. So it's, but it, it, it's got enough weight to feel comfortable. Very cool. The car, the, this one I think has bare knuckles in. Bare knuckle yeah. Mississippi Queens. Green 90s, yeah? Style yep. pickups. Very cool. Yep. Uh, and Can't it's, wait to plug it in, see how it sounds. Yeah, it's, it's good guitar. Love it. <laughs>